Hey, guess waters. Do you know what holiday's coming up soon? It's a holiday here in the USA called Flag Day, and we're going to learn all about it. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and also give us a thumbs up. We like making videos like this for you, and if you like them too, a thumbs up lets us know that you want us to keep doing them and you want to see them too. Did you do it? Cool. Thanks so much. All right, let's begin. There is one particular holiday that honors the American flag and all of its traditions, and it's known as Flag Day, and we celebrate it every year on June 14th. Flag Day is the anniversary of when the United States selected its official flag many, many years ago. And did you know that Flag Day was actually created by an elementary school teacher? That's right. On June 14th in 1885, a teacher named Bernard or BJ Sigrand, who was only 19 at the time, planned for his students to observe what he called the flag's birthday. And BJ put a flag on his desk. And then he had the students write essays about the flag and even had celebrations that honored the flag. Soon the media learned about this and it started to inspire others to do the same. And only two years later, the State Board of Education in New York State, where BJ worked, started to recognize Flag Day as a holiday. Now you probably know that the 4th of July is America's birthday because that's when America gained its independence on July 4th, 1776. But you might be wondering, what is the significance of June 14th? Well, that's the day that Congress adopted the stars and stripes for the United States of America flag way back in 1777. And this means that Congress chose our red, white, and blue flag to be the official flag of America. And I think we need to learn a bit more about the history of Flag Day. See, when the American Revolution started in 1775, the colonists that were here weren't fighting under a single flag for America. Instead, many fought in the war for independence against the British, but under their own flags. So in June of that year, the Second Continental Congress met in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They wanted to create the Continental Army, which is a unified colonial fighting force. And they created this force hoping it would cause a more organized fight against the British. And this led to the creation of the first American flag and the red, white, and blue colors we know now. The stripes would alternate red and white, and the union would be 13 white stars in a blue area. And this was to represent a new constellation. And still, to this day, the American flag has those 13 horizontal red and white stripes, which represent the 13 original colonies of the United States. But now, it contains the blue rectangle with 50 white five pointed stars representing the 50 states of America. On May 30th in 1916, President Woodrow Wilson officially set June 14th as Flag Day and his announcement was to inspire all Americans to observe Flag Day. But even with Wilson's announcement, the holiday was not passed by Congress. And even though Flag Day was celebrated in many communities for many years after President Wilson's announcement, it wasn't until August 3rd in 1949 that President Truman signed an act of Congress that made June 14th of every year National Flag Day. And even though Flag Day is a national holiday, most people will not get the day off work like they do for the 4th of July. That's unless you live in Pennsylvania, because only Pennsylvania recognizes Flag Day as a legal state holiday. And perhaps this is because Pennsylvania is the state where the flag was first created in Philadelphia. And did you know that the design of the American flag was not actually official until 1912? It was then that a governmental order approved the current design. 
and a new star is added when a new state gets added to the United States. And since 1912, the design of the flag has changed 27 times. And that last change was on July 4th in 1960. The star that was added was to include the 50th state of Hawaii. And the story that Betsy Ross was the first person who created the flag has been passed down for many, many years and generations. However, it is thought that a United States congressman whose name was Francis Hopkinson actually was the one who created the flag. Welp, there you have it. Now you know all about Flag Day, what it's for, and how it began. It's a great holiday to celebrate just a couple of weeks before the big 4th of July celebrations that we have here in the United States of America. So, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next Hey Guess What.